Hello friends, welcome to Kadesh Tutorial. I am Madan Kumar Cha and today I am going to explain how to design and get using past Insta logic. So for making the schematic of and get using past Insta logic and MOS, go to file, then in new, I am going to create a cell view of PTL and first install logic and get in current tutorial library. So, okay, so this is the workspace of cadence for you. So, now press I and go to the PDK 180 180 library. In this library, I will get, get NMOS. So, this is the symbol of NMOS. Now I am going to rotate it. Okay. So this is NMOS. So for making a end gate using NMOS PTL, I have to take two NMOS. Okay. Now the drain of the both NMOS should be connected using a wire so i'm going to connect it using wire by pressing w and uh, the body of this and more should be grounded so i'm going to uh, analog library and in analog library i will find ground So this is the symbol of ground. So I'm connecting the body of this NMOS with ground. Okay. Now I have to give the gate voltage of this NMOS as a pulse form. So go to analog library again and go to V pulse. V pulse. And set voltage one as one point eight volt, and voltage two at zero. I am going to set its period as ten nanosecond, and uh, pulse width should be five nanosecond for generating a square pulse. Okay, so it will be a uniform square pulse. Now going to rotate it. The positive terminal of this pulse should be connected with NMOS. So I have rotated it and I am going to keep this pulse to both NMOS. Okay. But for making a PTL using NMOS, I have to change the uh, voltage of, I have to give the inverted voltage to this NMOS, inverted gate voltage to this NMOS in comparison to this. So here V1 is 1.8, so I have to change the V1 of this NMOS to 0 and V2 to 1.8. Okay, so press Q. Actually, I have used here comma, so instead of comma, I have to use decimal. Okay, but uh, V1 should be basically 0 and V2 should be 1.8. So I am going to change this. Okay. Then, okay. After that, uh, here also by mistakenly I have entered comma. So I have to change it to decimal. Okay. Then enter. Okay. Now the other terminal of this pulse negative terminal of this pulse will be connected with ground so i'm going to connect it with ground and uh, this bulk terminal of nmos should be connected with ground so i'm going to connect it with ground and this bulk to this ground okay now 
one more bond is required to give the negative terminal of this B pulse. So I'm going to rotate it. Okay. Mm. Okay. So uh, I'm going to give the name of the two input signal as A and B. So I'm going to generate a pin, create a pin. And this should be, should be our input pin and give its name A. So this is A and one more pin is required. So this is B. Our output will be A and B. Okay. Now I'm going to connect the pin A with the train of this NMOS ok so basically this NMOS will do the multiplication of A and B and this NMOS should be multiplied with any such thing such that it will become 0 so that A and B plus 0 should be reflected in output ok so I have to create a pin that is that will be our output pin and uh, giving its name to y ok so basically y should be a and b so connect y with this terminal okay so y should be a and b so i have to make it zero so actually here i have given a signal of 1.8 volt so i have to connect this turn this drain of the nmos with ground such that 1.8 into ground with zero and our output will be 1 a into b okay so for that i'm going to copy this ground using c so C and going to connect this ground with the train of the second NMOS. Okay. So I think all automatically is correct. So for verifying that, I'm going to check and save. And you can see here the schematic check completed with no errors. but uh, i haven't provided any voltage to terminal a so i have to give a voltage so i am going to give pulse voltage to terminal a but this pulse voltage uh, period will be different from this because uh, uh, if it will be same then we can't observe the, uh, the product of a and b in output section so i am giving a pulse voltage here else again and this b pulse b1 is 1.8 and b2 is 0 and the pulse period of this i am going to change the period of this pulse with to 20 nanosecond instead of 10 nanosecond okay so it is 20 nanosecond and the pulse width will be 10 nanosecond Okay, then connect the positive terminal with A and negative terminal with ground. So, again, I'm going to copy the ground using C. Okay, now check and save, then go to launch ADL, then edit. I am taking the transient time to 100 nanosecond and accuracy default as moderate then right click on output section go to edit then from design take this signal A, B and Y for seeing its output ok 
now go to ADL so the output the three signals have come here now go to setup then in modal leverage uh, uncheck every other GPTK only have to use GPTK 180 nanometer so in modal leverage I am selecting only GPTK 180 then ok now I can run it so this is the output so going to split the all with form and make it more thicker and solid okay so type should be the style should be solid and width width should be medium now you can see when a is 0 b is 0 so output is a 0 b 0 so output is 0 when a is 0 b is 1 output is 0 1 is to 1 into 0 is 0 similarly 1 into 0 is 0 but 1 into 1 is 1 and 1 into 0 is 0 oh. 0 into 0 is 0, 0 into 1 is 1, 0. So when the both signal is A and B is 1, it gives 1. When any of A and B is 0, so then it gives 0. Okay, so it is behaving like an AND gate. So everything is correct. So why we can't use this NMOS uh, PTL AND gate in circuit everywhere? So there is a drawback of this end gate. Uh, why I am using the CMOS end gate instead of this PTL end gate? Because you can see here the voltage drop of 400 or 500 millivolt occur in output sections. Actually, I am taking input 1.8 volt, but the output is 1.22 volt only. So you know you know that uh, uh, NMOS passage one weekly okay so this suppress the output voltage with some threshold amount amount some threshold so this is the reason i am not going to use this ptl anywhere in circuit when required and we use cmos uh, and gate okay so thank you